Hey guys, Alec Pierce at the ranch. Once again, here we are back at the ranch. It's kind of a crummy day. This is May the 1st. Unbelievably, but it's still miserable and cold outside. We've had some wonderful days. A couple of days there was really, really nice, but the last few days have been wet and cold. But anyway, we're inside. I'm inside. It's nice and warm here in my workshop, and I'm going to show you a couple more little things. Okay. Uh, first of all, let me explain that. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I had a couple of comments on there that one guy said, that's not the way to do it. Do it this way. Fine. If you've got a method that works for you, I wouldn't change it for a minute. As a matter of fact, I'd like to know what it is. Maybe I want to use it. But my job here is to give you tips and ideas on what I've been doing. I've been living in the country and built a couple of houses in the country and worked in the country. Uh, I'm not a farmer, but close. And uh, I made a lot of mistakes. So what I share with you is the results of my mistakes. I know how to do it wrong, and I learned how to do it right, and here's some ideas. Plus a couple of pieces of gear that might be interesting, and that's what we're going to do today. A new piece of equipment. We have a house trailer, and we have ATVs and UTVs and tractors and all kinds of things, and, and we use all of that stuff quite often, plus the truck and the car. Now, all of those vehicles have wheels and tires, and you know what the problem is there. Sometimes those wheels have to come off. If you have a modern car, even a modern pickup truck, you know very well that the equipment they supply with modern vehicles is really not what you would call professional service station or garage equipment. <laughs> the jack is marginal. I sometimes worry about jacking up a vehicle with the jack that's supplied with new cars. It's pretty meager. And the, the wrenches and so on are usually a piece of rod like this with a knob on the end that fits the nut. And, oh, anyway, they're just not adequate. Some vehicles don't come with them. You don't get a, a, a wheel wrench with ATVs and UTVs or even with a travel trailer. So I'm always looking for them. And you know, <clears throat> the most common type of wheel wrench that you see, I have one over there, is that cross one. And it's got four different wrench heads. And the thing is about this, this big all together, you've got to store it. I spotted this and I grabbed it and I've used it two, three times. It's fantastic. Look, green handle, I don't know, maybe some other color, a rod and a bend in it. And there's a wrench on the end. But what, this is pretty slick, okay? So this end is uh, 13 sixteenths, right? If that's the wrong side, snap that on. And now you have uh, 7 eighths. Pretty good, eh? But it comes with another one. That's right. So you snap this one on and you have 11 sixteenths. If the, if the nut's on your 11 sixteenths, you got it just like that. And if that's not the right size, then it must be 3 quarters. There's really only 3 common sizes. There they are, all four, and they snap on, they stay on really, really well, and they're good, solid, chrome vanadium steel is really good and solid. So you're saying it's a little bit short, Alec. It was a little bit short. All of a sudden, you got a real wrench. Yeah, as I say, this thing's really handy. So you get all four common sizes of car uh, wheel nuts and, and, and a, a wrench that compacts is nice and long. It's light, it's steady, and it's store, at least store this under the seat of your truck or your car. I, I don't know what to do with this. Put a wire tie through it or a piece of tape around it and keep it together. Now, in an emergency, you haven't got a problem. I almost guarantee that you're going to be using this, probably not in your own vehicle, but to help somebody else. That's right. In other words, just a great solution to the very inadequate wheel wrenches that come with vehicles today. There you go. Just a thought. Maybe it's something useful. I'd be honest, I'm not exactly sure where I even got the darn thing. But look around. It could have been um, maybe Harbor Freight. I'm not exactly sure where it was. Anyway, you look around. Collapsible wheel wrench. Maybe Google it and you just might see this very model. I have found it excellent. Maybe it'll help you. Talk to you again soon. Allie Pierce at the ranch. i got to go inside again. See you soon. Bye-bye.